Hi guys, hopefully all of you are doing well today. I am going to show you how to make some sauteed collard greens with smoked turkey wings. Now I do have the classic way of making collard greens here on my channel. I will link that in the description box. But today we are going to saute them. Um, some of you may already do this in your families. It may be a regular thing. It's actually now where it's gonna take you longer probably to clean them and wash them than it is to cook them. So I'm sure you guys are gonna keep this method in your back pocket so that when you want some greens on a whim, you'll be able to have them anytime you want. Check out the recipe. So we're gonna start off by washing the collard greens. Collard greens do need to be washed no matter what you heard or what somebody told you, you do need to wash your collard greens. Here, I'm just taking the initial dirt off the greens before I let them hit my cutting board. I like to give them a good rinse. So now I'm gonna move on to removing the stem of the greens. Now you can wash and remove stems in any order that you want. Like my mother, she removes the stems first. And sometimes I do, it doesn't matter as long as you wash them and go through the process. Now I'm going through and I'm going to take the stem off down to the part where it's more tender. Um, the thicker the stem is, the longer it's gonna take to cook. Now I know some people will use the stem, it's up to you. Just remember if you do, they're gonna take longer to cook. They're very fibrous and very thick. See, now we can go in and really get to washing because we've removed the stems now and the greens even fit better in the sink. So I'm gonna take some table salt, which is one of a few ways that I only use table salt, which is to clean. And I'm going to rinse those greens in salted water. What happens with salted water, bugs don't like salted water. So if you get these greens out of your garden or something like that, those bugs are going to float to the top and you'll be able to see them and just how dirty these greens are. These greens were purchased from one of my local grocery stores and they're absolutely beautiful. So I didn't have to do a whole lot, but I took them through the process anyway. You may have to wash the greens in a cycle of maybe two to three times to make sure they're really clean. Finally, I'm just gonna gather the greens in one hand while picking them up individually and checking them for any dirt I may have missed, but a final rinse is really good after two or three cycles of that good washing with the salt. So the greens are all clean now. I have them hanging out in a strainer so that I can take them out by leaf by leaf and stack them because the next step is we're gonna have to roll them like a tight cigar and then we're gonna go in and shred them. Now if we were doing the greens the classic way, we would just go in and cut them into nice strips. But because we're gonna saute, we're going to shred the greens in nice thin shreds, just like you see here. The whole purpose of us shredding the greens is because shredded greens are gonna cook faster. Remember, this recipe is based on timing and being able to eat collard greens quicker. So we're gonna shred all of the greens in bunches just like this. So I'm gonna go ahead and start dealing with my smoked turkey. And I'm only gonna show this because of the fact that I've had questions in the past about smoked turkey and where it's sold and this, that, and the other. It's sold in your regular grocery store, usually near the bacon. All your smoked items are usually near the bacon. This is a smoked turkey drumettes that I got and they come in a vacuum pack seal or sometimes they may be on the white tray um, packed by the butcher wrapped in saran. So it's already cooked, it's already ready to go, but I need them to simmer so I can make a very strong stock for the greens and I need to be able to peel the meat off the bone. So I'm gonna pour five cups of water over the smoked turkey wings in a small pot and I'm gonna let them simmer over about medium low to low heat for about an hour and a half to two hours. So just to let you guys know, if you're really pressed for time, everything you've seen up to now in this video was done at 10 o'clock at night the night before because I knew the next day I was gonna be pressed for time for shooting this video. So you can prep your turkey wings and your stock and wash your greens the night before, cool everything down, put your greens in a bag, and then the next day, everything will be ready for you to cook, okay? So here we are getting ready to cook. I'm slicing up a half onion. You can do a half of a medium onion or a whole small onion. And I've got about three to four cloves of garlic because I like garlic. You can use a little less. I'm just gonna saute them in some olive oil or you can use vegetable oil, maybe about three tablespoons in a very large skillet. And we're just gonna saute the onions for about four to five minutes and then we're gonna add the garlic. And then we're gonna go in with our greens, a handfuls at a time, letting them cook down with each addition because just like any other leafy greens, spinach, turnips, kale, you need to give them some time to adapt to the heat and they're gonna cook down and start to wilt. Now for those of you who are my bacon lovers, you can cut out all that turkey stock making stuff and shredding turkey by just getting you five to six good thick slices of smoked bacon, chopping it up, rendering it down in the skillet, and then adding the greens on top of that. 
that'll get you where you need to go really quick. But I'm trying to go the healthy route. And sometimes a healthy route will have more steps and take just a tad bit longer. Okay, guys? So the holidays are coming. We need to just, you know, pump your brakes a little bit. <laughs> Go ahead and take the time to season up your greens at this point. They're all in the skillet. I have three bunches in there and I'm seasoning them up. Salt and pepper, Grand Diamond all-purpose seasoning, which you can get. You can check it out at gdseasoning.com. Along with this recipe, it'll be in the description. And I'm just gonna keep sauteing. As you can see in the skillet, the skillet almost looks kind of dry. Um, we're not sauteing in a whole lot of oil. We're only using about three tablespoons. But we're also going to extract some of the water coming from those greens also. So that's also keeping the steam going. Okay, so I'm just going to add my shredded turkey and keep on sauteing. I did this for about 15 minutes until the greens were where I thought they needed to be as far as wilting. And then I added some of my stock. Now my stock cooked down to about two and a half cups and I just added it gradually while I was sauteing just to infuse the greens with that smoky flavor. See, that's how they're gonna end up tasting like the greens that we've cooked the classic way or the traditional way in the pot. After the greens have been sauteing for about 15 minutes or so, I'm gonna go ahead and add some shredded cabbage. Why not? If you guys have never had collard greens and cabbage, I suggest you give it a try. It's another soul food side dish that a lot of us love. And cabbage doesn't take as long as the collard greens to cook, so that's why I added it at this point. I'm just gonna go ahead and mix that in, and then I'm gonna put a lid on it, and I'm gonna let it cook. I'm gonna check it in 20 minutes. Here's what the greens look like in about 20 minutes, okay? Um, they are delicious, they are smoky. They're not swimming in a lot of liquid, um, not a lot of oil either. You can taste them at this point and see if they are to your likeness as far as tenderness. I went on and let them go for another 10 minutes and after that, they were ready to plate, period. Wouldn't you just love to be sitting at a table and have somebody pass you a plate of these greens? Don't they look awesome? They are totally delicious. Hopefully you guys will give this recipe a try. It's really easy, very healthy, and I'm sure this is another method that you will definitely want to learn when you're cooking your collard greens. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. You know I appreciate it when you come and hang out. Don't forget these recipes and others can be found at gdseasoning.com. Now what's wrong with that picture? There we go, it's fixed now. We got that cornbread added. <laughs> See you guys next time.